What's going on guys? So today I'm going to be doing another video and today I'm going with Back to Basics and I'll be using uh, my Chromo uh, Sensitive Skin Shaving Cream. If you don't know what Back to Basics is, what Back to Basic is, it's stuff that I purchase like somewhat cheaply to see uh, for the people who are starting out to using a uh, double-edged shaving uh, razors and all this. And I, so I, I try to find like somewhat cheap stuff. So like uh, this only cost me like eight bucks or so, eight, nine bucks. Uh, the, razor I'll, the razor I'll be using is the King C. Gillette. I bought this a while back. I got this on sale for like 14 bucks, I believe. The razor blade I'll be using is a, a Lord Platinum. Uh, I'll be using my uh, class bowl. I bought this off of Sterling for like six dollars. Uh, what also? I'll be using this. Uh, my last bit on my old gentleman John. This is a uh, Allen block. Uh, you can buy this off of. Amazon for uh, seven, eight bucks, something like that. Uh, let me get my face wet. And I like to shave since Thursday, not Tuesday, so it's been five days since I shaved last. So, yeah, like, what back to basics is, like I said, is uh, it's a series I do that helps the every man that, uh, that has never used a uh, double-edged razor before. And it, and I'm basically wanting to share my experience, what uh, shaving with a double-edged razor would be like if you were interested in buying one. Or someone bought you one for Christmas and you're still lenient on using it. You know, it's like. But for me, double edge uh, shaving is basically a lifesaver for me because I actually have sensitive skin. Like my my skin is so sensitive that using a big razor just tears my skin up, literally. It just tears my skin up to the point where uh, if I'm going, if my wife and I are deciding to go out one night, I literally have to shave hours before. Like, I'm talking about like five to seven hours beforehand to shave. When I used to use a Bic or a Mach 3, I still have my Mach 3, but I don't use it as much. But I know there's a lot of guys out there that are switching to double-edged razors. So I like them. So and they're really they're really not that expensive. But they can get expensive. But first pass. But the only thing you have to buy. After you buy the razor, is just the blades, and you can buy you can find any blade on Amazon fairly at a reasonable price. I haven't tried feathers yet, but I hear that feathers is like going up in price, so 
my two choices that I normally use are Astra's, Astra Green, and a Shark. Those are my two go, uh, to go, uh, a blaze that I normally switch out. Because, one, I like the feel of both of them. I really do. Man, like, I know I watched that uh, Lions game a few days ago. It was like a nail biter. I literally thought they weren't going to win. What about the, uh, Anyone catch that uh, Chiefs uh, Dolphins game of how cold it was? So, if you don't know anything about football, yeah, you probably do. Some people might not, because if you're not from the United States, uh, we have American football. So, a few nights ago, the temperature at Arrowhead Stadium was so cold that uh, they went ahead with the game. But they were telling people, if you come bundle up like wear like a ski mask or something because it's so cold do they even make those things anymore ski masks or like uh for like winter i know what generally people use ski masks for but for in the winter time you know you would think people wouldn't be that stupid you know what i mean But no, it was so cold that uh, at Arrowhead Stadium that the head coach of, uh, of uh, the Kansas City Chiefs, uh, Andy Reid, he has a mustache. His mustache was iced over. Like, to the point where he has become a meme on the internet, so. It's been cold here in Florida as well, but I think it's been cold all over. the United States. Yeah, I believe in Canada, too. Lincoln. Was it Hawaii? No, uh, Alaska, sorry. Uh, second pass. The low. And when I seen this, I was like, holy mackerel, man. The low was minus 74. I'm like, that has got to be brutal. Oh, man. So, I was talking to my wife a few days ago, and I have another channel. It's a travel channel, and we've been talking about it, you know, and I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna keep that one. It's my very first YouTube channel, but we don't do much anymore since my wife's been so busy with school and trying to restart her career as a nurse. You know, cause she, that's what she's going to school for. She's going to school for a nurse. So we don't have time to uh, do travel vlogs or go to Disney or, 
universal anymore. So I told her I'll keep the channel. I just don't know what I'm going to do with it after she starts working as a nurse. Because now that's an all like put like a random updates on it. And, or I did a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and a uh, Happy Thanksgiving on it. It's just I have not put any content on it in a while. I think the last time I put content on it was like in that, oh, I guess or September. And that was for. Our cruise. Last March. So. But she told me she's like. She's like. If I was you, I would just keep focusing on your uh, shaving channel, which I normally do my shaving channel or my shaving videos every day or every other day. It all depends on how I honestly feel and how, you know, because there are days I'll wake up and I'm like, no, I don't want to do one today. You know, because I get like that sometimes. Like, I don't, for me, there are times I'll wake up and I'm not, I'm not even in the mood to shave. Oh, man. So I'm thinking about literally just, uh, I'm putting... My original channel on the back burner now. I'm just focusing on this channel. This now has become my main channel. So, in my original channel has become my secondary channel now. So, plus, like what my wife told me, she said. You know, like, you vlogging, yeah, I love that you vlog, but you can't walk and talk at the same time or hold a hammer. When you do your uh, shaving videos, you just stand there and just talk, you know, uh, third pass. And I agree with her, you know. Like, will I do more vlogging stuff, hopefully, sometime this year? But it's not going to be as much, because last year I only did maybe one thing, maybe two things, besides making the short videos for, like, Christmas and Thanksgiving, Halloween, and Because what my wife told me, she's like, that channel is basically dead because you haven't done anything. I'm like, I get it. I get it, you know. And I truly do get it. So, this is my main channel now. So, and uh, I don't want to spoil anything. I am expecting a package sometime this week. And I'll be doing a video next week on something I, my wife purchased for me. She found it. She's like, Robert, I think you would like this. So, have at it. And I cannot wait to try, try and test it out for you guys. It's, I've never even heard of it. It's just like with, uh, with, uh, 
The Rapid Beard. I never heard of Rapid Beard. So on Christmas night, with everything dying down, you know, while I was, I got on my tablet and I was searching Rapid Beard because I've never heard of the company. I was like, what the hell is Rapid Beard, you know? So I. I looked it up, I was like, okay, so. Cause I've never heard of it. Oh man, I feel so much better. I'm not doing small fourth pass. Cause one, I haven't shaved in five days, so. I know I'm missing some spots. I'm not gonna do my neck because I already got my neck, so. Oh man. But I know once we have our own place, so we live with our in-laws right now because we're trying to save up money for uh, a house for our own. Uh, like once uh, we get our own place, I'm going to focus on trying to build my business for my shaving company. Cause I, it's hard trying to do it when there's other people in the house. It really is. Just, plus, I, I'm still gonna, I still gonna buy stuff for it. You know, I still got a lot of all this other stuff, so I have that on the back burner too, so don't get me wrong, I'm, I am going to start it, it's just, it just takes time. But no, like, don't get me wrong, like, uh, when I do start my business, when that happens, hopefully in the next couple of years, so it's, like I said, it's really hard to do a lot, a lot of things, especially when you're a stay-at-home father, you have, you know, like, doing all this other stuff. So I think once my daughter starts like uh, going to like uh, preschool or whatever, uh, I think that's when I'll start more focusing on uh, trying to build the brand that I want to build. So. Yes, I am still in the process of trying to find everything that I need, though. But, 
again, it's going to take time. So, I'll keep you guys updated on everything with it. Because I told you guys I'm going to start it. And I am going to start it. I truly am. It's just building a business it takes so much time and effort. You know, and it's like one of those things. It's like, uh, the one, you gotta have the money. Two, it's like, you have to sit and prioritize. Oh, by the way, Nebula Man. Uh, you have to prioritize all this stuff. I might have to get a new one. Something a little so. Yeah, you have to prioritize everything. Oh man, that feels so much better. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like button, subscribe button, leave comments down below, and as always, happy shaping. Bye.